Okay, so John and his friends bought some art supplies that's summarized by the table, the number of each and the total spent. We want to find the price of each item. So I'm going to let X be the price per pastel, Y will be the price per brush, and Z will be the price per canvas. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a system of equations that we'll solve. So from the first row of information in our table, we could create the equation 3x plus 4y plus 5z would equal 22. From the second row, we would create the equation 2x plus 5y plus 7z equals 23. And then from our, from our last row, we would have 4x plus 3y plus 6z equals 24. So there's our system of equations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create two new equations uh, that don't involve x. So I'm going to take our first two equations, I'm going to multiply both sides of our first equation by positive 2. And the second equation, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3. So from our first equation, we'll get 6x plus 8y plus 10z equals 44. Our second equation, we'll have negative 6x minus 15y minus 21z equals negative 69. If we add those, we'll be left with negative 7y minus 11z equals negative 25. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So we'll have 7y plus 11z equals positive 25. So that's one equation that we'll come back to. I'm also going to take the second and third equations. And again, I'm going to eliminate the x's. I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative 2. So that would give us negative 4x minus 10y minus 14z equals negative 46. Again, multiplying the second equation by negative 2. I'm going to leave the third equation alone. So if we add those, we'll have negative 7y minus 8z. And negative 46 plus 24 will be negative 22. But now I'm going to take our other equation, 7y plus 11, 7y plus 11z equals 25. And again, I'm going to add those two equations together. That'll leave us with 3z equals 3. Well, that tells us that z equals positive 1. So now I'm going to take our equation, 7y plus 11z equals 25, and I'll solve for y. So we'll multiply 11 times 1. If we subtract 11 from both sides, we'll get 7y equals 14, or y equals positive 2. And now all we have to do is go back to the original, one of the original equations, substitute in z equals 1 and y equals 2. So I'm going to use the very first one. So we would have 3x plus 4 times y, which was positive 2, plus 5 times z, which was positive 1. Well, this will be 4 times 2 will be 8 plus 5. That'll be 13. If we subtract 13 from both sides, we'll get 3x equals 9. Divide by 3, we'll get x equals 3. So now we have the price per each item. Um, it says the pastels, which were x, were $3 each. The brushes, which were represented by y, that'll be $2 each. And then the canvases, which were represented by Z, those will be 